good morning grade 4 and a warm welcome to the maths class well children i want you to look at these numbers and identify identify what's wrong or what's the difference what's special about these numbers take a moment yes look at the first one children now can you get a clue what's it you are adding 2 so it is increasing by 2 what about the second one children look at the second one let's form this now is it easy you multiply each digit by 2 1 into 2 2 into 2 4 into 2 8 into 2 right move to the next one children the third one 85 80 75 think what is it minus 5 can you see children you less 5 and then you get your answer the next digit look at this children i think this should be simple this is minus 1 right now children what is all this the first one add 2 then the second one is multiplied 2 this is minus 5 and this is minus 1 so there is a rule right children all of you know the rule over here is what add 2 let me use another pen the rule over here is what is it here children multiplied 2 and the rule over here what's the rule over here minus 5 and finally the rule over here what's it the rule is minus 1 right this rule is add 2 what is this children this is called sequence you have done this children last year what is sequence it is a set of numbers which follow a certain pattern it is called sequence so today children we are going to identify a learning objective will be to identify the number pattern and generate the rule and we have to complete the sequence now children this is from your grade 3 book if you look at this you have your grade 3 book okay some of you have it with you we have done these pages last year a set of numbers following a certain pattern is called sequence you have done this children it is on page 11 then you have page 12 and finally you have page 13 so those of you who have the books you can refer to this last year's book now let's move children to grade 4 book we have the same thing here in grade 4 that is sequence but now here in grade 4 we move to decimals and we move to fractions so let's find the rule let's generate the rule and learn more about sequence now children look at these numbers in grade 3 you had whole numbers now here children we have decimal and here we even have fraction now children look at this and identify what rule would this be what rule would you apply yes it is they are adding 0.3 if you look at this children they are adding 0.3 
when you add 0 0.3 you get 0 0.6 again you add 3 you add 0 0.3 here you add 0 0.3 similarly for this you add 0 0.3 here you add 0 0.3 Right? So, the rule is what children? The rule is adding 0 0.3. Children, if you don't get this, you know, you can do the rough working. What you do is, if you are doubtful, you want to check your answer. So, you could do this 0 0.3, add 0 0.3. So, see here you get it 0 0.6. Children, don't forget this decimal. So, it's 0 0.6. Now, again to 0 0.6, you add 0 0.3. You're getting 0 0.9. Right? Similarly, you take 0. So, you can do all this in your rough column, children. 0 0.9, you add 0 0.3. So, what are you getting? 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct? So, it is 1.2. So, similarly, you see it over here. Right? Now, identify for the second one, children, the fraction. Look carefully. If you see, it is increased by 1 fourth. Adding 1 fourth. 1 fourth and 1 fourth gives you half. Yes, children, you know your fractions. Okay. Then you add another half, you are getting 3 fourth. Now to 3 fourth, you add another 1 fourth. So what do you get? You get 4. You get a whole number. You remember this, children? This too, you can work it out. See, if you have this circle, right? This is your circle. So you have four parts. This is your one fourth. This is your one fourth. This is one fourth. And this is one fourth. Right? So one fourth and one fourth will give you half. Now if you had three of them. This one fourth. This one fourth. And this one fourth. It will give you three fourth. Right? And then to the three fourth. If you add one fourth. You get one whole. You will get one whole. So, the same rule applies here, children. One fourth, you are adding one fourth, you get half. To this one fourth, you add one fourth, you are getting three fourth. Now, to this three fourth, you add one fourth, you will get the whole number. Because three three fourth, you are adding one fourth, you get four. Right? So, children, this is from your textbook 4th standard grade 4 these are your rules now this is very simple children addition this was decimal which I did for you again you have decimal then you have over here is the fraction so similarly you will complete 1 and 2 right I am going to tick mark here so this would be your homework 1 and 2 then children, this is shape. This is very simple. Now look at this shape. It is being increased by, see here you have 3, here you have 5. Here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this 3, this is increased by 2. Here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again it is increased by 2. So you will add your figures here. Right? Then fill in this table over here children. After that you have this term fourth and fifth term children what is a term what is a term this also you have done last year children i will show you what is a term let me explain children see this term this also you had it last year in your uh, grade three you remember each number in the sequence is called a term First number in the sequence is called the first term. Then the second number is called the second term. Right? So this is your first term. This is your second term. Number 13 is your first term. Number 5 is your second term. Similarly, if you see your children, find a missing term. 
9, 12. What would the next term be? What is the rule over here? Look. You are adding 3. So this would be 15. This would be 18. And then you have 21 and 24. So term is nothing but it is the number. If you have last year's uh, book children, please you can open the book and refer to that. So similarly over here children, you have to draw the fourth and the fifth term. See here, the second term is here, the third term is here. So now the fourth one, where will you add? Down below. Right? These are simple drawings children. I think you will be able to solve these. After that children move to exercise 21. This also children we, you have done last year. Find the first 8 terms of each number. Now starting at 4 add 3. So to 4 if you add 3 what do you get? 7. Correct? So this is your first term. So you will add till 8 terms. Understand? Now starting at 76 you subtract 7. So you start from 76. If you subtract 7, what will you get? 76 less 7. Children, you can do the working in your uh, rough column. If you cannot get it. What's the answer? 69. Do it in the rough column, children. Okay? 76, 69. And then you continue. So you have to do up to 8 terms. Now start at 3, double. 3, you double, what do you get? 6. Add 3, add 3. This is the rule. Now this you have to half it. So that means you will divide it by 2. So children, this also I think you can continue. And this one children, you have to draw the line. This is the similar one to your grade 3 one year which you did it on a number line. Remember this number line children. Do you see this? So this is similar to this. This page children. Do you remember exercise 6? So that also you are going to do it. On this number line. I will post one in the broadcast group children. So that you get a fair idea. So that's all children from my side. You are going to do page 27 and page 28. This exercise and this exercise. Exercise 21. That is on page 28. 1 and 2. Right? Right? And you will also be doing page 27. Page 27 exercise 20. This you can do the whole page. They are simple drawings and just you have to need to generate the rules. So well children that's all from my side. Please send in your homework. Many of you are very quick and prompt. But some of you need reminders. Stay safe children and be happy.